All right, good morning, guys. It's the uh, 23rd of January. It's Monday morning here in Texas. Uh, talking about, we're going to do some spray finishing today. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be spraying some catalyzed varnish on this little walnut bench that we built here. This is going to be going, this is for the footboard of a walnut bed build we just recently finished. So we're going to finish it with the same stuff that we used to finish the bed. And I wanted to share this because there wasn't a lot of information out there on these kind of things when I was getting ready to start doing these kind of finishes. So this conversion varnish, it's, uh, I first learned about it when I was sitting with a uh, furniture retailer at an Amish uh, furniture store. They were talking to me about building some tables for them. And uh, the table we were sitting at had this, uh, this great finish on it. It was really durable, but you could still feel the wood in it. It wasn't like a coated plastic on the, on the furniture. And uh, they, they say that this is what they use in most of the commercial furniture and bar tops and stuff out there. So I started looking into this and uh, found out that this stuff is very durable. It's actually very easy to apply if you, uh, you have to spray it though. So you have to, it's, it's a little bit of a skill. It's not rocket science or anything. But uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish up this bench today. It's a nice day out. It's about 55, so I don't know exactly how the how the drying times are gonna go, but we'll see, we'll get it. We'll get three coats on that today. And I'm just gonna kinda go through when I mix it up and do all that stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. But I'll get that all finished up today and then get that top permanently attached to that, and uh, we'll be able to get it back in the house. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to mix up the, the finish. So I'm just gonna show you this real quick. We're not gonna go through the whole process because you just gotta sit here and stir it for a few minutes. Uh, you guys stir this for a couple minutes to remix the solids and that. And then once that's done, you got to mix in 10% of the, the hardener here for another five minutes. So then we'll go ahead and we'll run it through this strainer into the cup and then we'll be ready to spray the bench with it. And then we'll go through that little process. We'll get some footage of that and uh, talk about the system we're using as everything's set up outside. And uh, you just, the only thing I can say is you just want to make sure that you have a good ventilated area to use it and wear your respirator even when, if you're spraying outside because um, it does put off some fumes, you know, but it's, it, this is all water-based, so it's real easy to clean up. Uh, you're going to be really kind of surprised about how it keeps the, the color of the wood after it's sprayed on. A lot of your finishes will darken it and turn yellow and things like that. Um, they say this will. Uh, yellow some a white finish but from the walnut wood that we're using it does great and it, it keeps the natural color without actually darkening it like a lot of the other finishes that we've used on the walnut here so we'll get some get some of that and we'll show you how it goes and uh, carry on So here's the first coat of the conversion varnish on the bottom of the bench top. Just a real quick look. It's uh, this is a water-based finish, but it dries. It it dries pretty clear. This is a that's the a piece of the wood that this is made of. Now this isn't sanded or anything like that, but you can kind of see how it pretty much keeps the color, but you can still see some of the light reflecting off of the finish that's on here. And this is only one coat, so. I'm going to sand it up with this uh, 220, this is sand, just a finishing sponge, it's a 220 grit. I'm going to sand it up with that and shoot another coat on the bottom here. And then I'll flip it over and, and put uh, three coats on the top. So I'm just going to sand this up a little bit with this 220 sanding sponge. Just to scuff it up a little bit. It doesn't really take a lot for this finish, it works really well. But this will kind of cut down all the orange peel on the, the spray finish and make the next coat come out a little bit smoother. And this is just a, a very lightly damp cloth to just to pull the dust off of it. And now this is ready for another coat and it's just almost done.
All right, guys, there's uh, it's got two coats on it. I didn't do the third coat because I didn't want to mix up any more of the finish. And also, um, after two coats, it's covered pretty good, so I decided to leave it at that. But uh, as far as the discoloring the wood, here's a piece of raw walnut sitting on top of this bench top. It's only sanded down to it's sanded down to 220. So you can see the color of the, the bench top and the raw wood. It, it hasn't darkened it very much. It's got a satin finish on it. You can see it shining in the lights there, but if you're looking for something that's not going to change the characteristics of the wood that much, this is a great choice. Take a look at it. It's uh, pretty easy to spray. I'm no professional finisher. It's like the the worst thing, the worst strength I have in woodworking. I hate finishing, but uh, this is by far the easiest finish I've worked with so far. So it's a little bit pricey, but the the finished product and the finish that you get out of it, I think, is is a good trade off. All right, so here it is, all cured, all put together. So that's uh, just a walnut bench with uh, conversion varnish, two coats. Spray been sitting in here day or two and uh, I'm ready to put it to use now so